good day everyone this is our second video on superposition theory and as i've said earlier the videos are going to be made based on request only so if you have a problem you go to our google classroom upload your problem and i'll respond to it as soon as possible so here is a question with two batteries and two cells so we're to use superposition theorem to find the current across each of the resistors in this cycle and also the voltage drop in either resistor in position uh, resistor 4 ohm, 3 ohm, 2 ohm or 1 ohm so uh, as you all know for you to find current using superposition theorem you have to shut the power sources and solve for one power source at a time so according to this question we are to solve for only 9 volts calculate current flowing through the all and through all the resistors in the circuit when only when only 9 volt is connected to the circuit this is our equivalent circuit we have shorted down the remaining power sources and leave just one so we need to assume our current is coming from the positive terminal and therefore our current the current that comes out of the power source can be assigned as I1 and at this junction we should expect our current to divide some will go this way and some will go through the other line the current that will flow through this way is going to have a very lower speed compared to the current that will go through this way because of the resistance so we should expect current to reach this length from here to here before current from this length to reach to move from this position to this position and therefore this can be assigned as i2 and the current that will go this way is going to be i2 subtracted from i1 which is i1 minus i2 so at this junction our current will go this way some will go this way and some will come downward the current that goes this way is going to be i3 we have exhausted our i1 and i2 so the new current will be assigned because this is something as seen another current has been removed from i1 minus i3 and it's which is i3 and then we'll have another current going this way which is something as i1 minus i2 minus i3 and then we're going to have two currents summing up which is i2 and i3 and both moving toward the resistor 4 ohm So the same current will go back to the negative terminal which is something as I1. If I1 minus I2 minus I3 is adding up to I2 plus I3, then only I1 will move through this line. And the next step is to assign our loop. So if you look at the circuit, we choose the leading current to assign our loops. For this loop, our loop is going anti clockwise because the power source is contributing in this line and this is our leading current in this line and also in this loop this is our leading current and it's moving toward this direction therefore our loop is going to take the same direction and also here this is our leading current and they are moving in this direction therefore our loop will take the same direction and therefore our equations from loop 1 the current uh, power source, uh, electromotive force is coming from the positive terminal therefore we have 9 positive and then the loop is opposing the loop and the current are in the same direction we have negative i2 and also loop and current in the same direction we have minus 4 into i2 plus i2 remember we are going to ignore any current with no resistor in in, uh, in line of zero resistance so we have the second equation also came from the second loop and also the third one came from the third loop so this is our equations
okay now simplifying our equations clearing the brackets and then we're going to have this as equation one and this is going to go in the our equation two by simplification we can reduce to this and then equation 3 can also be reduced to this minus i1 plus 4 i2 minus 2 i3 equal to 0 this is equal to 0 So by substituting, if you look at equation 1 and 2, they have almost the same unknown. We have i2, i2, i3, i3. So we can solve by either elimination or substitution method to get rid of either i2 or i3. So now we're going to get rid of i2 from equation 1 and 2. by elimination method by eliminating I2 this and by subtracting this equation from this i3 will be found to be minus 1.57 ampere <coughs> but since our value or our result is negative then we we'll have to go back and correct the direction of current i3 it means the current is moving backward and not forward like this so this is the right direction and this is wrong one we can now go ahead and change I3 to the positive. <coughs> Negative current does not exist, and therefore we're going to have positive current. <coughs> and then by substituting for I3, since I3 has been found, by substituting it in equation 1, <coughs> we get the result for I3. We get the result for I2, or the value of I2. <coughs> And therefore I2 is 2.18 ampere and then for us to get I3 so we have found I3 and I2 so for us to get the value of I1 all we have to do is to substitute for I2 and I3 I2 and I3 in equation 3 for us to get the value of I1 Now substitute for I1 and I2 in equation 3 for us to get the value of I1 and then I1 <coughs> is found to be 5.5 eight ampere. So we have found I1, I2 and I3. If for example, for instance, you are asked to find the voltage drop in any of the resistors let's take for example let's take for example we are asked to calculate or find the voltage drop only in four ohm resistors so all you have to do is use ohms law v equal to ir your i is going to be the summation of i2 and i3 and then multiply by the resistance which is four and that would be the voltage drop in this resistor so this is one of the examples of population theorem and then we're going to i'm going to uh, make another example and send it shortly thank you